Hey, we gotta have a talk, you and me, all right? Yeah, I got something to say to you. You should be sitting down. I'm about to be real blunt. Your footstool sucks, okay? Here's why. First off, I don't think it's very good for your body. I don't think it's good to sit in a position where one leg is lifted and one leg isn't. Second, it's not easy to adjust the footstool in relation to your chair. You walk out on stage, you gotta set your footstool. Hopefully you get it in the right spot. Let's say you don't, then you gotta reach down and you gotta move it. A similar thing can happen with recording where your position relative to the mic is very important. Like an inch this way, an inch that way can totally change the way your guitar sounds on the recording. So if you need to adjust, well, once again, you have to reach down and grab your bulky, stupid footstool and move it to a new spot. Not only that, but if you got a mic in front of you, and especially if it's really close, that footstool is gonna compete for floor space. You might not even be able to get your footstool in the optimum spot because the mic stand needs to be in that exact spot. The third reason your footstool probably sucks, at least mine did, the one that I used for like a decade, is that like there was barely any adjustment settings. It like had, I don't know, I think four, three or four different settings. Let's be real, that's just not enough. And the fourth reason, and this is actually a big one, for me, literally, footstools are bulky. They don't collapse down small enough to be able to fit into most classical guitar cases, at least in my experience. So I would always have to bring like an extra bag and put the footstool in that. It's always nice to have as much of your guitar related stuff in your guitar case as possible. It just makes things way more convenient. So what should you be using instead? Okay, maybe you guys have heard of A-frames. I know. I hadn't for a long time. I'd see people play with these these frame things where the guitar was like, you know, resting on this weird apparatus that was, you know, giving you that that proper guitar angle. But I never thought to try it out until one day, I mean, probably something like five years ago or so, I decided to give it a try. And I ordered this tiny frame that attaches to the underside of the guitar via suction cups. And it felt a little bit weird at first. It felt like slightly less stable, but I got over that in like the first night of messing around with it. And I have never looked back. Pretty much every problem that exists with a traditional footstool for guitar is totally eradicated with an A-frame. So first off, it's gonna allow your body to be in a more ergonomically sound position. In my case, I used to get really bad back pain. Now I'm not positive that it was just due to that, to the footstool that I was using, but I know that sitting with one leg up and then one leg with the foot on the ground, having that unevenness in your hips and your legs, that can't be good for your back. I'm pretty sure it contributed to my back pain. So unlike a footstool, the frame is actually connected to the guitar. So when you move that guitar around, the frame comes with you, which means you can move your feet around. You can move your body into different positions and the frame is right there with you. One of my absolute favorite things about A-frames is that I can have a mic stand wherever a mic stand should be. And I don't have to worry about like, oh, I wanna have my foot in a spot where the footstool is competing with space with the mic stand, you know what I mean? Or like space with a music stand or you know, anything like that. It just, it really frees you up and it's very convenient for just your immediate space. Also, every frame that I've used folds down small enough to fit into the middle compartment of a classical guitar case. So I, I don't have to like bring an extra bag or whatever, which is actually really, really nice just for convenience sake. So I know I got you on board, buddy. I have told you why your footstool sucks. I've told you why you gotta get a frame. I feel like I've got you right in the palm of my hand. And now all I have to do is tell you what kind of frame to get. Sage works. Sage works. The sage works. Sage, sage works. So this bad boy actually uses magnets to attach to the guitar. You put magnets inside the guitar that are, you know, held held on there by like a glue strip or something. And then this boy, I'll, I'll grab my guitar. So and this boy snaps just like this, right into place. Look at that, amazing. You know, before I found this thing, I was using the suction cup versions. And by the way, um, the particular one that I had, um, I went through like 
two or three of them because of the suction cups just straight up ripped off. This one, I obviously have not had that problem. There's no suction cups to rip off. So this thing is highly adjustable, okay? So you can alter the height of it like this to alter the angle. You can alter the height of the other part that attaches to it. And look, it's all curved, it curves. They've thought of everything, Sage works. And also you can alter the angle of the guitar with these, uh, these convenient little notches. Okay, and it snaps right in just like that. It's very stable. I haven't had any problems with recording or performing and having this thing slip or fall off. It's been rock solid always for the three years that I've had it. Also, it just looks cool. And I've actually got the cheaper one. This is the Umbra and it's more like a, a, a plastic, it's black plastic, but they have one that's wood that's a little bit more expensive that looks so cool. I might actually get um, a wood one and have two of these boys. Hey Sam, but I've got two guitars, okay? And I don't wanna have to buy two of these stands, bro. Well, that's not a problem, bucko. I've got two guitars also, and what I did is when I ordered this guy, I got an extra set of the magnets that go inside of the guitar. So I can easily transfer the frame from guitar to guitar and snaps right in place. So if you wanna grab a Sageworks, go ahead and use the link in the description. Fully transparent, I do get a small cut if you use my affiliate link, so definitely do that. I, I also wanna say that, you know, I have a lot of companies reach out to me via email and say like, hey, can you, can you review this particular mic or this guitar or whatever? And honestly, I'm, I'm never really interested in, in the stuff that they have for sale. So I don't feel comfortable, um, you know, reviewing stuff I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever use or have any interest in. But with the Sageworks thing, they didn't reach out to me. I reached out to them because I've used this thing for three years and I've been like floored with how awesome it is and just how much better it is than every guitar angling solution that I've, I've ever come across. So I hit those guys up. I was like, hey, maybe I can do a video on you guys and you know, maybe we can set something up with a link or something. And they were like all about it. So I used that link so I can get some more of that sweet green, baby. That's it, man. Um, I love this thing. I'm gonna use it forever and uh, I'm gonna probably get another one also. Subscribe to my channel, bud.